Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going over how to wire a trigger into the Lyric controller. Uh, so kind of quickly to go off that, there is not a way to wire a trigger to the Lyric controller. Uh, the Lyric does not have the proper hardwire zones for a trigger. Uh, the Lyric does have two built-in hardwired zones within the panel. Those are for normally closed contacts, doors, windows. Uh, so those won't count as a trigger, so they won't, really, they won't really work on how you'd want them to do it if you're trying to wire a trigger. So, uh, basically what a trigger is usually for is to sound an external wired siren for the system. So basically when my panel sounds its alarm, uh, if it did have a trigger, it would send power to a siren, causing that siren to arm and sound as well. Well, not arm to sound. Uh, so this one not having a trigger, there isn't really a way to set that up just right off the bat. There are a couple options, however. So, uh, first option, which isn't really recommended too much, but we've found that this does work. Uh, if you have a Z-Wave plug-in module, uh, such as a MIMO uh, light or a linear Z-Wave plug-in, both of those will work with the system because they are both home automation devices, both Z-Wave. Uh, basically, what you would do is you would set those up with the panel. Um, the, you can wire an actual siren into that plugin module. So essentially you're creating a rule in the panel to trigger that Z-Wave device if the alarm is sounding. And then that hence would trigger the actual external siren causing it to sound. You would have to create another rule as well to shut off that device once the panel has been disarmed. Hence, you know, cutting power to the siren, stopping the actual siren from blaring. So you can do that if you want to have a external wired siren to the system. Uh, it is a bit of a setup obviously because you know, you're getting the Z-Wave device, you're wiring it in, you're creating the rules for the alarm and the disarm, but it has worked. Um, uh, really the main way to set up a siren for the Lyric that is recommended by Honeywell is by using the Six Siren. So this is a wireless siren that is designed specifically for the Lyric, it's encrypted. Uh, and basically it has a LED indicating arm state and it also will sound a siren as well. So we do have a video showing how to program this, but real quick, I just want to kind of go over that as well. So of course with programming, you're going to go to tools. You're going to use your installer code. Ours is still default 4112. Program results. And then I'm going to pick the next new one. So let's say seven. And for all programming, you're opening up the serial number option. Now the six siren, you know, it's not like a door contact or anything which you can't just fault it and it'll automatically program, uh, but you can trip it, well trip the tamper. So to trip the tamper, you take off the back plate and right here, if you're able to see, is the actual tamper switch. So I'm gonna hold that down and release it. And then I got the serial number there, hold it down, perfect. So that has gone through there. I'm just gonna confirm real quick that my serial number is matching, which it is perfect. So just match that to the actual serial number there. And then by type wireless siren, you can put your zone descriptors if you want. So uh, basically saying where the siren is. Uh, and then supervise yes, because I wanna be alerted if this loses connection. And report, that means if it's gonna send a signal out to the um, central station as well. Usually that indicates a tamper. It uh, doesn't really do too much. Obviously, if the siren is sounding, the alarm signal is going out for the other zones. So yeah, so you add that there. Front wireless siren. Uh, zone number three, what's the next one? So when I press add new, it went to the next available one. And then yeah, so that's pretty much the recommended way to install a siren for your Lyric system. Uh, like I mentioned, not really a trigger since it's more of a wireless siren. Encrypted, so you're pretty good on that. And then whenever this goes into alarm mode, it's gonna send a signal to the siren, having the siren sound and then display, um, you know, the proper LED color on there. And then just to review real quick, so if you wanted to do like an actual external siren, a wired siren, you need a Z-Wave plugin module. You basically wire the siren into that module. You'll pair the module with the, the Lyric system itself using the inclusion mode through automation. And then after that, you're gonna create rules, basically one, to provide power to that Z-Wave module if the alarm is sounding. And then the second rule would be to kill power to that Z-Wave module once the system is disarmed. Uh, so pretty easy setup. It is a, you know, more steps, but if you're really set on using external siren that's wired, and that's really all you wanna do, obviously this wouldn't be going outside because it's meant for indoors. 
uh, that'd be a way that you can do it and set it up. Um, yeah, and that's essentially it. Not really too much with that. Uh, we do have more videos about the Lyric, about sirens. We have a couple FAQs as well about setting up, you know, the external siren as well. Uh, if you want to check those out, check out our website, alarmgrid.com, www.alarmgrid.com. Uh, if you had just specific questions about the Lyric, siren, monitoring, anything like that, feel free to send us an email, support at alarmgrid.com. Uh, we do have more videos on our YouTube channel, of course. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when we release more content. My name is Dylan with Alarm Grid. Thank you for watching.